It's Jacob Rezoza, and I hope you guys had a very wonderful Christmas holidays. You know, hoping uh, that you guys spread the Christmas cheer to all your family and friends. And um, all I gotta say is Merry Blessed Christmas and a prosperous New Year. And let's see what the year 2024 has in store for us. And now, today is Boxing Day, so I might as well show you the video of how Boxing Day is actually celebrated in a funny way. So you'll, you'll see what I mean. Check this out. <laughs> Ortiz was apologizing, this isn't and Mayweather win. was punching. This isn't going to win him any more fans, but it was legal. It was legal. It was. It was. Now, perhaps I may be sounding like a broken record or a silly, strange cookie, but, you know, today is Boxing Day. Today is December 26th. Um, so I'm more of an HBO boxing type of person because, you know, it's so much fun to listen to Jim Lampley and um, other like multiple uh, uh, color analysts joining him in the broadcast team, you know, and then of course you got Larry Merchant as a ringside reporter. But um, I mean, whoever it may be, you know, either it's Max Kellerman or Roy Jones Jr. or... Um, any, anyone who, who joins Jim Lamley. I mean, Jim Lamley is the greatest uh, commentator in HBO boxing history. So so I prefer that, you know, uh, way over showcase. And uh, and it just, he's by far number one, number one uh, boxing lead commentator of all time. So that was, that was what you saw when Floyd Mayweather knocked out Victor Ortiz, um, you know. But after that, that inadvertent headbutt that caused Victor Ortiz to lose one point, you know, because, you know, one point is the headbutt, one point is a low blow, that kind of stuff. So, but, oh, man, it was a, controver a controversial ending. It was, a, it was round number four, but it was a rookie mistake that Victor did. He apologized to Floyd, and then Floyd knocked him down, and Victor was able to get up from the 10 count, that was it. And before I forget, the referee that was assigned to the main event between Floyd Mayweather and uh, Victor Ortiz was none other than Joe Cortez. Speaking of mistakes, Joe made a mistake of his own when he turned his head and looked away. That gave Floyd Mayweather a distinct advantage to knock out Victor Ortiz to the canvas. So, um, to a while his uh, his attention was turned somewhere else. Um, you know, that's when that boom, that knockout shot happened. And there's even an outside referee that was on the ringside area as well. That referee was also counting after Victor was knocked down by Floyd. And watch that. And Victor Ortiz was not able to get up from that knockout. Well, no matter how you slice it, it's legal, it's not classy, and it's officially a KO. So you heard it right there from Jim Lampley himself. It was legal, it was unclassy, and it was officially a KO. I think, to me, it was a, it was the cheapest knockout in um, HBO boxing history. And there's also one thing that Jim Lampley was right on regarding Floyd's actions when he knocked out Victor. 
that is when, because of what he did to uh, Victor after he apologized to him, that it was not going to win Floyd some boxing fans. And it's true because, you know, like, like I said before, you know, it was legal, it was not classy, and it was officially a knockout. But I'm expecting that the viewers that viewed this video of the controversial fourth round knockout may have different opinions about that fight that that night when Floyd knocked out Victor um, after Victor apologized to Floyd for that inadvertent headbutt. I mean, after all, you know, everybody has different thoughts and opinions and everybody here is naturally um, entitled to their own thoughts and opinions. So, and for me, that's, it's fine with that. You know, I would love to read your comments, you know, read each other's comments, that kind of stuff. So, I mean, I may, I may have some opinions about your comments, but depending on um, which comments that you leave on the comments section below. After the fight was over in the fourth round, Larry Merchant conducted an interview with Floyd Mayweather and things really got heated, like right down quickly. Although I haven't even seen an interview, but I was told so many times about it, but I did not want to at the same time watch that post-fight interview because I find it like so disturbing because, you know, honestly, brutally honest with you, like, quite frankly, I'm a Floyd fan. Aside from Manny Pacquiao, I'm a Larry Merchant fan. I'm I'm a Jim Lampley fan. Roy Jones Jr. Um, all the broadcast team in HBO Boxing. But, I mean, come on, Floyd. Like, bro, you gotta, like, you gotta respect your elders for once. Like, it's part of, you want respect, you have to earn it. One of the only ways that you're going to earn respect is only when you respect your elders at all times. Why are you going to verbally abuse Larry Merchant like that? But then again, Larry fought back, got all defiant, and, um, you know, he wanted, let's just say, he wanted a piece of Floyd himself too. So, but, I mean, I respect Larry for um, sticking up for himself against one of the best fighters, one of the best boxers in HBO boxing history, Floyd Mayweather. And now I'm about to sign off on Boxing Day, December 26, 2023, with yours truly, Jacob Rosnoza. But, you know, I may sound like like a, a silly broken record or a very strange cookie, you know, but I think, in my opinion, that's how Boxing Day should be celebrated after Christmas Day. So, but, you know, I just want to say... I hope you guys had a um, great Christmas holidays. Um, you know, hope you guys got gifts, you know. Um, let me know also, too, in the comments section below what gifts you got for Christmas. So on my channel, there's a what I got for Christmas of uh, 2022. So make sure to check that out. I'm about to sign off for uh, Boxing Day. Uh, I just want to wish you guys a happy, blessed, and prosperous New Year of 2024. Let's see what 2024 has in store for all of us and for all of you and all your families. And, um, you know, I'm about to leave you one more time with, with the controversial um, fourth round knockout that is on Boxing Day that involved Floyd Mayweather and Victor Ortiz. With that being said, Jacob Rezonza, thanking all of you guys for watching this video. Um, you know, if you like this video, please do me a favor and uh, thumbs this video up and subscribe to my channel and turn on and ring the bell for... Uh, more videos from from me right here and saying to all of you on the very special christmas and new year's holidays to stay tuned don't give up we push in a line we're coming Apologizing, no. this isn't and gonna Mayweather win. was punching. This isn't going to win him any more fans, but it was legal. It was legal. It was. It was. And watch that.
And Victor Ortiz was not able to get up from that knockout. Well, no matter how you slice it, it's legal, it's not classy, and it's officially a KO.